The chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, has charged civil society organizations to observe primaries conducted by political parties ahead of the Ondo State governorship election. Professor Yakubu said those at the quarterly consultative meetings with CSOs at the INEC headquarters in Abuja. The INEC boss who used the occasion to brief the CSOs on preparations for the Edo and Ondo state governorship elections called for more engagement with the political parties, especially in the area of advocacy for inclusivity for women, youth and persons with disabilities that are underrepresented in elective offices at national and state levels. I urge civil society organizations to engage with political parties and observe their primaries just as we engage with INEC and deploy observers to the main election conducted by the Commission. By doing so, you will strengthen your advocacy, particularly for inclusivity for groups such as women, youth, and persons with disability that are underrepresented in elective offices at national and state level. Professor Yakubu also expressed worry that some CSOs were yet to turn in their reports from the 2023 general elections in all the subsequent polls. May I therefore seize this opportunity to remind those that are yet to submit their observation reports that it is mandatory to do so, being one of the conditions for eligibility to observe future elections. Responding on behalf of the CSOs, the Executive Director, Sustainable Gender Action Initiative, Mufiliat Fijabi, commended the INEC leadership for the engagement and called for more reforms in the electoral process. We hope for this kind of continued collaborative discussions to rub minds to build on one another's strength in order to improve on our electoral process with its ultimate goal of having a democratic process that is truly inclusive and durable for our dear country Nigeria. Further briefing from INEC in the opening session of the meeting suggests that 16 political parties have so far indicated interest to participate in the November off-cycle governorship election in Ondo State. See and News.